Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I completely forgot to shoot the intro so I am using my phone to do this. I already took the card out of my camera and it's importing so... <laughs> Okay, and I don't feel like setting back up the camera to do this, so we're gonna use the phone. Anyway, today's look is for those of us who love to wear glasses to the office or whatever. We want to look good with a full beat. And today's glasses are sponsored by Zillow. So if you are interested in this video, stick around and keep on watching. What it do? What it do? back again coming through so today i have a treat for y'all let me take a little sip of my coffee i i let me tell y'all something i am not supposed to be drinking coffee you hear me because that caffeine who <laughs> starts swinging from the fan husband hollering at me i ain't listening child it be going through it so today i got a treat for y'all i have never done this on my channel and i don't know why because this is definitely something that i do so it is something that i'm sure a lot of you do and that is wear glasses as you can tell i have in contacts so today my contacts are not tested but normally whenever i do wear my contacts they are tested just so you guys know but today they are not tested because i have some spectacles here from zilul the company is called zilul this is the company that that's what that looks like, the name and everything. The link for this company will be in the description box. Let me tell you, it is so funny. You ever been on your computer searching for something and then all of a sudden like your search engine starts to suggest stuff to you? Well, the other day I was shopping for some spectacles because I wanted some new spectacles and then all of a sudden, like two days after this company contacted me and I was like, <laughs> I know you lied. Anyways, I was able to pick five glasses that I really like, and I'm gonna say all of them are really, really, really beautiful. So the first, I, I don't know, like it's so hard to pick like which one is my favorite. Well, you'll see. So this one, if you follow me on my IG stories or Snapchat, you would have seen that I wear this one a lot. My ears are tucked in right now because I have my edges tied, but you will see exactly what they look like when I, you know, do put them on I really like this one I wear this one a lot around the house when I'm going out I absolutely love this and the thing with this one they have a green uh, frame as well let me tell you <laughs> I wish I had got that one but I kind of wanted to switch it up for the video but I really love this one the, the whole cat eye look um, I just love a good cat eye like so the majority of these that I have here are cat eye this one I wear the most I am not gonna lie to you but I absolutely love these look how pretty these are like they're just so cool they're fun for summer coming up I mean even though it's still winter I had to get these I absolutely love these the next one on my list also kind of like a clear type of vibe this is the pink one she's a little bit more different compared to this one you see what i'm saying you see the shape like you know this is what i'm saying but these are so pretty and they're like a little soft pink and then the sides are like gold let me tell you and they're super affordable what am i forgetting to tell you <laughs> i'm so excited listen what am i forgetting to tell you okay so when you go on the website right you can put in your prescription if you know your prescription if you don't know your prescription you can go ahead and get tested and then come back and put it into the you know the situation pick the glasses that you want you can get tested you can get non-tested you can get tinted blue light cut you can get a whole bunch of stuff they really and they there's just an array of glasses over there i was kind of sad that i could only pick five but child how many glasses do you want you see what i'm saying Another one of my favorites. Oh my God, I don't know which one of these to show you that is my favorite. Oh, just go for it, girl. Okay, so this one, I call these the grandfather shades. Like these are aviator and they are so chic and stylish. And like I said, all of these here are tested. So this is when I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing it up. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, look at this. This is just so fun. Let me tell you a nice little ponytail, beat your face, no matter what kind of hair you got. Like, can you picture it? Can you picture it? You're going to see in a minute because today's makeup is going to be based around for those of us who wear glasses and want to still look good in our beat. Okay, so that's the type of makeup I am doing today. I love these. These are so shabaranks. You understand? Yes, shabba. Okay, this one. I love this one so much. As you can tell, she matches my nails. These are so pretty. They're still cat eye. Okay. They have the side frames like these are so gorgeous like this with a red lip do you see it do you see where i'm going with this okay i'm gonna do a really neutral look so i'm gonna switch out for the red lip and then you're gonna really see how this oh look at her i love this one this one is my bougie i'm going out i'm getting dressed up but i don't want to wear my contacts Ooh, girl 
when I saw this, I, I knew this was probably the first one that I put in the basket to get. And I love this one, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, mm, you see what I'm saying? And you're gonna see why. I love the shape, she's cat eye, and she's floral. And I thought that this would look so cute because I wear a lot of floral stuff. And I thought that this would be so cute, but she's kind of small for my face. So if you have a smaller face, just be wary of that. But these are so pretty. Like, I just love these. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, you see what I'm saying? But they're kind of small. So they kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, I just wish the frames were a little bit bigger. You see what I'm saying? But honey, like, they're still pretty. So if you have a smaller face, you see what I'm saying? Or even if you have like a kid, you know, that's she into her bougie stuff, you know what I'm saying? You can go ahead and get these. So these are the five glasses that I have and they are all from Zilu. I will have the link to each and every single one down below. So if you're into spectacles and you wanna get some spectacles, they come with the case. Okay, some cases look like this and you might get a case that looks like this. I guess it depends on the size that whatever can fit, you know what I'm saying? So they come sorted out and you get the little duster and everything the little you know wipe your face wipe your face um, wipe your glasses type of thing these are so 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 pretty and I just love them you know what I'm saying like <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put these away and grab your favorite makeup and all you need is a neutral palette because today's look is going to be around wearing glasses for those of us who love to wear our glasses this look is going to be for us, okay? So, let's zoom in so we can get within, okay? Okay, so <laughs> we are up close and personal, you know what I'm saying? Welcome to my face. A, a lot of you have been asking for the, the um, face skincare routine. I want to thank you because you make me feel so happy so so happy because you tell me my skin is looking good and you want to know my secrets but i feel like my secrets are so basic but anyway i'm going to share them with you i don't know where i was going with this argument but <laughs> okay thank you i just want to thank you mm, from the bottom of my heart my soul deep i thank you for beautiful com compliment <laughs> Girl, stop. Okay, so I was gonna skip this step, but I'm gonna throw it in there. So I already did my brows, and this look is gonna be super, super simple. And if you have the Huda Nude Medium Palette or something like it, go ahead and whip it out, because this is like, lately, these three palettes, the light, the medium, and the dark, have been my go-to. Like, I absolutely love these. They're so pigmented. You don't need a whole lot. These are so bomb, you see what I'm saying? Like, I really, really do like these. Anyways. Let's go, and that is not an ad for them, by the way, but it, I mean, low-key is, you know what I'm saying? Just, I'm not getting paid for it. Anyway, girl, this is 380 by Fenty, okay? One day, maybe that will change for me, you know what I'm saying? Nobody don't wanna pay the little Japanese girl no mind, but it's all right. It's okay, I ain't stressed, I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for what I already have. So we're gonna cut this, and I shouldn't be talking, but, Y'all already know, so I'm gonna, you know, swipe this across here, really straighten it out and, and kind of like feather it down with a brush, and then we're gonna move on to the base, okay? And this is a look, I don't know why I'm still talking to you during this section, okay? Because I really do need to cut straight. <laughs> this is a look that I do most of the time whenever I do wear my glasses, because as you can tell, my other two glasses, the ones that I told you about, I ordered those from Key, Australia, and I have the Desi Don't Act Me, the tortoise shell one, and I have another clear, like, um, like an orangey clear type. So all of my glasses are quite dressy, you see what I'm saying? So whenever I wear my glasses, I kind to, I, I tend to keep my eyes really, really light. I don't wear any color or anything like that. If I'm gonna do color, I'm gonna put it on my lips. And I feel like that says a lot because the glasses are so, you know, they do their own thing. You see what I'm saying? You wanna take away from the focus of that, especially if you got some bougie tight glasses. <laughs> anyway, girl, let me go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next on the menu, you guys already know my black opal tan. Is this one tan? Yes, tan. I absolutely love these. I have these in almost all the shades, I believe. They're not a whole lot, but they're really great. I absolutely, absolutely love these. Uh, if you wanna go an extra step above, now I have oily lids, but I don't mind 
putting these down. Sometimes it does crease, most of the time it does not, but sometimes, and I notice especially with shimmer shades more so than matte, it tends to crease. So if you hate that look or whatever, I don't mind that. I kind of like the wear in the eyeshadow, you get what I'm saying? Because that's when it really looks settled. And you know, it looks, you see what I'm saying? It just gives it a different vibe. So, but if you don't want that, you can definitely go in with the Urban Decay Primer underneath this and you're good to go, okay? It won't crease after you do that. But I don't, I don't have time for that. Like that's just an extra step that I don't care for. I try to cut back on these steps, honey. As you can tell, my face is a process. Okay. <laughs> And instead of using my stu sponge, sponge, girl, slow down. That's that caffeine. Okay. Um, <laughs> so instead of using my sponge lately, I have been just using my brush and just patting out the, just kind of evening it out. You see what I'm saying? Even that out, smooth it out. You see what I'm saying? I feel like the sponge takes away too much sometimes. Next up, I'm gonna go in with Honey by Fenty. And with this powder, I'm gonna set it because I want this look to be soft. I don't want it to be as pigmented. So I'm kind of gonna share out some of that tackiness. So it kind of glides over it basically. Like I don't want it to be super, super pigmented. You get what I'm saying? I kind of like to keep the eyes light. So whenever I want to do that, I just go in and set the majority, like more than halfway, like to where I'm starting to crease. Normally I would just do my brow bone area, but to where I'm going to start, like start creasing right there, that's where I'm going to add this. Does that make sense to you? Anyway, girl, this is just what I do. Okay. I'm just going to pat this in there and smoothing out that area as much as possible, but keeping this area right here really nice and tacky. You get what I'm saying? Do you feel me? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so starting with the eyeshadows, I'm going to go into this top shade right here really, really lightly. I'm kind of just gonna mix. I'm gonna tap into both. Do the do, this one and that one. Okay, I'm just gonna tap in there really lightly. I'm not gonna like be all bougie today just because I'm filming like extra steps, keeping it real. Okay, that's what we're trying to do here. So I'm just gonna tap back and forth into both of those. I'm gonna start to kind of like press it in. And as you can tell, I'm using a fluffy brush and that's because we're gonna really diffuse this at the same time. It's supposed to be a quick look, you see what I'm saying? So you wanna skip all the extra steps, but I am gonna be doing my little face routine that I picked up the other day. I am in love with that. So I'm gonna continue with that, okay? We're gonna carry this over onto the lid, like just tap it in over there. You know what I'm saying? Really soft, really pretty. And just let the brush do the work. You know what I'm saying? And going in with a denser brush, I'm gonna do the same thing, tapping into both colors. I'm just going to start to carry this right up onto here. And I'm gonna take it all the way across. Okay, keeping it real, keeping it real then holy feel. Okay, I'm gonna use the same brush that I use for out here. This is when I am, I'm just trying to get through the door but I wanna blend. There's no time for switching out, no brushes, boo, okay? So we're gonna go in with the shimmer. Normally you would go in with a packer brush. I don't have no time, okay? We just gonna dip into these two colors right here with the same brush and we're gonna sweep it right over that area. And that's really, you know what I'm saying? Gonna do the work for you. Just let the brush do the work. You see that? Do you see that? I feel like you're not seeing. Is you seeing what I'm saying? Okay. Look at that. An eye already done. Okay, keeping it real, keeping it real in the holy field. Okay, so next up, you can definitely line your eyes if you want to. I tend not to line my eyes when I am wearing my glasses because I feel like it's just too much, but I do wear lashes. Now, I always try to pick lashes that are short. These might not look like they're really, really super short, but I promise you when it comes to wearing glasses, for me, these are short. So make sure that you just get like a, if you, especially if you want like a full look, just go ahead and get you a full lash, but trying to make sure you know that they are short like the hairs are short you don't want to you cannot be wearing them 50 long inch lash um thing the jigs with unless you're gonna wear your glasses on the tip of your nose right here do you boo but <laughs> for those of us who want to put it in the proper space and you know what i'm saying short lashes so i'm gonna go ahead and apply these off camera these are by lady lashes i absolutely love their lashes they sent me a bunch of lashes the other day and the name of this one is Bellissima, bellissima, sepicida. So I'm gonna apply this off camera and we're gonna come on back. 
Okay, so that is it for the eyes for now. You see how curly they are? I think a little bit, I went a little overboard with the, <laughs> the curler thing, but they're still cute. Anyways, it is time to zoom out so we can show out. Okay. Okay, guys, so we are going to be doing our face, and I need to reveal the baby hairs because um, that's just what needs to happen right about now. Okay, because we need to put the contour around there. Uh, I might go in and tight one more time. I don't know, feeling a little ashy. That's that gots to be. Girl, I got me some gots to be. Somebody hit me up in my DMs. Honey, shout out to you, okay? You were like, Amazon ships this stuff to Japan, America Amazon. So I went over there and I went hoo-ha crazy, okay? I bought a bunch of stuff, a bunch of hair stuff. It's kind of hidden though. That's why, you see what I'm saying? Because it's not like I didn't try. Anyway, so I already moisturized my face using my Nivea cream, okay? Ooh. Come on out so you can see, so the people can see you. This one in the tin. Okay, I absolutely love that. I'm using the heavy one today because I feel like I need it. And I use my brush to deal with that. Let me put some right here because that's where the, the head tie was. Now, I'm confused. <laughs> I finally got the milk primer. Honey, okay, the smugglation. I'm just kidding. I found it on Amazon USA and they ship it here and I was so surprised. I was like, what? So why is Sephora not shipping it? And it's actually from the milk seller. So I was like, okay, well, you know what? Let's go with it. So um, my understanding is you use this by itself. So we're gonna be trying this by itself. I'm a little bit weary because I'm so used to putting something matte in this area, but we're gonna do, th we're gonna do things different today, okay? So I'm really excited to try this. You have no idea. You have none, okay? Because everybody and their mama love this primer because of the stickiness to it. I don't know. But they say it's great, so let's go. Let's try it. It's sticky. You know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of? Hold on. Wait a minute. Yes, it reminds me of the J1 Jelly Pack. This, it reminds me of this. I kid you not, that's exactly what it reminds me of. But anyways, we're gonna rock with it. Okay, let's go. So I'm really excited to do the one layer technique. I absolutely, absolutely love that. So today I'm gonna be playing with my NARS Macau. Macau, 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 yes, Macau, Macau, Macau. This is the Radiant Foundation. I'm not really a fan of this because it doesn't last long, but because I'm not gonna be wearing my makeup for long today, I do have somewhere to go. I wanna wear this, you see what I'm saying? Ooh. Honey, even without any foundation, I I'm feeling myself today. Mm -hmm. What a difference. A little comb up your hair can do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And for this, the last time I started off, I think with my concealer first, I'm going to do the foundation first. I feel like that's a better way to go, but I really do love this technique. I'm just warming it up on the back of my hand with my brush. And we're going to go in and place it where we need it the most. I absolutely love this technique and I don't know why I never tried it before. Girl, what are we forgetting? Girl, let's go in with the MAC Paint Pot and this one is groundwork, yeah, groundwork. I think I was just so excited to have the Milk Primer finally. And this thing, because it's so pigmented, like it cancels out that dark area that I have there. And I like to put it right here as well. I think we all crease right there. Make sure it's right on that smile area. Girl, run it off at the mouth and almost forgot the most important thing. Somebody asked me if this would work under the eyes. Try it. I think it would work. Like legitimate, I think it would work. Okay, let's get the neck because we're going to need to get it there. And let's do the nose because we're going to need it there. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my contour and this is the Black Opal foundation stick and this is in the shade suede mocha and i'm gonna go in with my concealer this is 380 by fenty okay okay so last time i was being stubborn but since then i have switched to the brush for this i find that the brush is a lot better this is a brush by mark jacob this is quite expensive but it's a good brush you don't need to get this brush but do get you a dense synthetic type of brush that is made for foundation and we're gonna go in and start to pack not really pack, but pat, I should say, because the color's already packed on. Okay, and I find that it's great for just getting around these areas. Okay, and we're gonna pat that out to perfection. 
And then I'm gonna switch to another brush for the contour. But for the concealer, I'm going to deal with a sponge. You see that already, honey? One layer, like this thing, I don't know. Like, I don't know what I was doing. What was I doing, girl? Mm. Get it down the neck, always get the neck. I never show you this, it's just because it's hard to talk <laughs> and do that. Okay, so for my contour, when I tell you this feels so much lighter on my face, there's just something about, it's because it's, it's just one layer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just everything. Anyway, for my contour, I'm going to be using the Morphe brush. This one is E49. I like it because it has that tapered tip, so it's great for getting around my hairline. And on this angle, as you can tell, like it's kind of angled, like it's, you know, it's kind of like that shape when it's properly shaped, you see what I'm saying? So it's really great. And then when you turn it, it has all these angles. That's really great for blending out contour. So I absolutely love it for that. Brush your contour up, people. Okay. And then the tip of the brush I like to use to get around my hairline. You get what I'm saying? It's just a really great brush. Morphe has some really, really good brushes as well. Okay. And for that jawline, just blend it out. Okay. Need to do a little bit more blending right there. Okay. So for my concealer though, I'm going to use my sponge. I don't want to use a brush for this because it is a lighter product. I kind of want to soak up some of that so it's not like intensely bright. You get what I'm saying? Even though y'all not like it bright, but I want to use the the sponge <laughs> okay you can definitely use a brush because I see all of them use a brush as well was I recording <laughs> I hope so if not girl I put on my L'Oreal infallible pro matte powder I set that and I set that with my damp sponge oh I was recording was I record I feel stressed okay so instead of going in with the outer face right now that's fine like once I do under my eyes and I set like in the smile light, like this whole entire area, you know what I mean? The diamond of the face. Once I set that, I'm cool with breasts. So today I'm gonna go in with my nose contour. Normally I would do this afterwards. Like this is probably like the, like the finishing touches, okay? But because we are wearing our glasses today, I am going to lightly tap into my MAC NW5 powder. Okay, yes, NW5, I should know it by now. And I'm gonna start to contour this area. And when you wear glasses, let's keep it real, okay? Especially in this area right here, it always takes off your makeup. Like that is just a given. So I'm gonna show you how I like to combat that. You wanna go in and just add the contour as much as you can, like so. And I like to take my, my fingers and just rub out that area until I start to reveal some of my skin under there. You gotta be careful with this though, okay? And if you feel like you've removed some of your powder from the side, just go in and pat that back out. Make it look nice, okay? And then I'm gonna switch to my smaller angled brush. Where is it? Hello. My smaller angled brush, same powder. Why did you put it away? Talking too much, not focusing on what you need to do, okay? And we're gonna hit the details. These areas are fine, so I find that these normally stay whenever I wear my glasses, but right on the sides right there, like makeup is removed. Like you, I feel like you cannot fight that. Okay, like don't put as much makeup right there. Make your skin be the natural contour. It's a bit tricky, but you understand what I'm trying to say, right? Like, okay. Now it is time to bronzify, not bronzify. Girl, what is you talking about? We're gonna set the rest of our face using Nutmeg by Fenty. This one, okay, I don't know where I'm going with honey, child. Sometimes I just, I don't know, okay. And I'm gonna use the butt of my sponge to really set everything in place and just kind of pat it out until it dissolves. You got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just like that. And you kind of just want to set where the foundation is because you're going to go in with your contour on top of where the contour is. Okay, now it is time to bronzify so we can catch puppy's eye. You see, look man, this little face is coming together so nicely. Okay, this is Mocha Mami by Fenty. Okay, and we're going to brush it up. Up, 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 lift these cheeks, okay? And then go around the hairline. And I'm gonna skip my jaw with this. I don't feel like I need it today. This is too red for my jawline. I really wanna get Coco Naughty. I'm thinking about it, but I love this one so much. It's kinda like, <laughs> why bother? Okay, favorite everything palette, to be honest with you. The Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette. 
uh, it just never gets old with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, I just love it so much. You feel me? Like, I can't help myself, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the highlight. And I really like Zara. Lila is good too, but I don't know. I like Zara because she's a little bit more golden. You get what I'm saying? And I like to hit just these areas right here. I don't bring it all the way down here because I like a matte look because I'm telling you, after a couple of hours, this starts to shine, this starts to shine, this starts to shine, this, everything starts to shine, honey. So I definitely don't need this in that area. You feel what I'm saying? So I kind of just tend to keep it right here. And when I really get oily, honey, this is beaming because that's just, that's a double up. You feel, you, 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 okay? And then I'm gonna go in with Nail. Nail is my guy, you see what I'm saying? Looks brown, but like when you touch it, it has that red hue. And it is everything. Ooh, it is everything. Okay, and I'm gonna lay it on a little bit thicker today. Okay, for my tear duct color, I'm gonna use just this color right here. Just this one right here. And I'm gonna pop that right in there, like so. And because I'm out here forgetting things, I'm gonna go in with Zara once again and just hit the tip of my nose. Okay, you definitely wanna get that going. And we're gonna do Cupid's bow. Shine it up, bring it out, okay? Polish her up, make her say hello to the world. Okay, so we are getting there. So whenever I wear my glasses, most of the time, I'm going to do a nude lip because my glasses kind of stand out on their own. But for that red one, I'm doing a red lip. For the flower one, most of the time I do like a pink lip. And for my like pink sheer one, I also do like a pink lip. But for most of them, I do a nude lip. Are you feeling my drawstring? Do you want a drawstring uh, tutorial? Like I can share with you the drawstrings that I have and all my little tips and tricks. I know I'm, I'm gonna still give you that ponytail, okay? Don't worry yourself. So first things first, I'm going to go in with pitch today because I want a little bit more of a bolder kind of you know depth type of thing because this is a lot deeper so we're gonna go in with this and line our lips so let's go ahead and do that so next on top of this I'm gonna go in with on button you guys already know one of my faves okay I use it a lot because I really like it you know what I mean like if I don't like it I'm not gonna use it <laughs> you know what I'm saying I use it a lot because I like it you see what I'm saying Okay, for my gloss, I'm gonna go in with Fenty Glow and we're just gonna touch. Yeah. Just a touch. Give it a little glow glow. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with my Glow Mist. You gotta shake this up. Okay. Just a little something, something to take away from that powdery look. Okay, make that drop before you put on your spectacles now. Hey, Darnell. He think he looks so good. Always going to the gym and skipping leg day. Talking about if he can take me out to lunch. Boy, you look like Johnny Bravo. I ain't going away with you, dumbass. Hey, Miss Lynn, how you doing, girl? <laughs> Lynn Sharon. Salad eating Sharon. Girl, I ain't never seen somebody eat so much salad every single day. This woman talking about she eating a salad for lunch and still ain't losing no weight. Child, something must be wrong with her DNA. Mm. Girl, I'm afraid for her. Good morning, sir. How are you doing today? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll get right on that, sir. Don't you worry yourself. A dozen yellow roses coming right up. <laughs> so you finally remember your wife, huh? Should I buy some for Susan on the third floor, too? Because y'all ain't fooling nobody. Them skirts getting short by the seconds talking about y'all always in a meeting. Mm -hmm. And I see that new Jag she rolling in. I know she ain't buy that on her salary. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and mind my business. Mm-hmm. the hell she got on today lord bless her poor heart this child is blinded and stevie wonder thinking that eating an accountants want her child he don't want you you know what it's almost lunchtime. let me go ahead and do my work and get the hell on out of here as a matter of fact i'm gonna call in sick for the rest of the day because i cannot these people about to drive me crazy mm -mm. Okay guys, so that is it for this tutorial. As you can tell from all of those little skits, you can definitely give yourself a full beat and still look really, really fly 
in your spectacles, okay? I had to save this one for last. This one is by far truly my favorite. You know, the red frames, the red lips, the whole, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little something, something. Like, you step into the office like this, they know you mean business. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did not come to play. If you put yourself together well, honey, you know what I'm saying? You can get anything nowadays, okay? presentation it's all about you know what i'm saying putting your best foot forward okay make sure you check out zilu all the information for this company will be in the description box as well as all the glasses that i have here i absolutely love all of them um they're really, really pretty, really fun. They're really stepping it up, you see what I'm saying? So, yeah, don't be afraid to wear your glasses, okay? They make you look small. Okay. <laughs> yes. If it is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. Join the family. We are a happy bunch. Hit that notification bell while you are at it, okay? Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. It helps YouTube know that you really like my content. Share the video, guys, because sharing is caring. Help me get out there. I am really, I'm begging you, please, let's, let's grow this channel together, okay? And I cannot do it without you guys the other day I made a video talking about I don't have friends and then I had to kind of sit back and <laughs> listen to my husband he was like what are you talking about those people that support you those are your friends okay so you guys are my friends he had to kind of correct me a little bit you know what I'm saying sometimes you don't see things like you know what I'm saying but that's true you guys are definitely definitely my friends you guys are what keep me going and you make me don't feel so lonely you get what I'm saying so yeah I want to thank you for that as well make sure you're following me on all of my social media platforms Forms, which is Instagram, Snapchat, everything is under Savannah Silva. What am I forgetting? Comment down below because I want to hear from you guys. And until the next video, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys really, really soon on the next one. Okay. <laughs>